Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Sei Shu, and I'm here with Angela Poynton, who is an author and business coach. She runs the blog and the website, Hand Select Your Clients. She's a phenomenal writer. Her work is uh, something that appears in PPA Magazine, and she's prolific, really. Every month I pick up the magazine, I, I'm always racing to your article because it's always really something that, that just absolutely blows my mind. It's so cool. Um, thanks for joining me. You're about to start or kick off another uh, course called Magnetic Business Masterclass. This is the third time you're offering it, and I wanted to have you on board because I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what is it that you think is important for photographers, especially photographers who are interested in even considering this course. So welcome to the to the show, first of all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I started this course because marketing is something that I'm really passionate about. And I was finding in the photography industry in particular that we're getting so flooded with op options for people to choose, um, whether you're a commercial photographer, portrait photographer, wedding photographer, it doesn't really matter. There's tons of options. And not only that, um, and this is a double-edged sword, it's really pe easy for people to find those options now mm -hmm. um, just by searching. And it, it used to be all based on relationships. And a lot of times it still is now. But it's easy for people to not be loyal anymore and to kind of bop around with who they decide to work with. So the purpose of the course is to help people figure out what about them is unique. And then not only that, uh, that's hard in and of itself for people. Um, and when I say that, I mean people know that they provide good service, they know that they provide a good product, but everybody says that. So if you dig deep, 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 what is that really, what is that uniqueness for you? And then how do you get that out? How do you express that? How do you make it apparent when somebody hits your homepage and they take the time of five seconds to visit your website? Are they going to understand that about you? That's uh, you know a phenomenal service in itself. I know having to work with you one on one is not going to be cheap uh, at all. Uh, but this is an opportunity for people to be able to, I guess, tap into your uh, your knowledge base and figure out exactly how to do this. Um, on your website, you you ask, does this sound familiar? You've been struggling to put your specialty into words, and I have to raise my hands because, as you already know, you and I. Have been talking for the last couple of years now I've had trouble defining exactly what it is that I do that's special in a way that that is going to resonate with with my clients um, and you've you've been of great help in at least listening to me <laughs> ramble on about this um, but you've also you've also have you also have this uh, knack of um, of delivering uh, the goods I mean as I've already stated in my introduction uh, your writing is so lucid and clear every time I do pick up that magazine I'm not I'm not I wasn't kidding I do run to the your article first I'm looking like is Angela's article in here of course it's in here and it's so wonderful to just understand the the marketing world from your perspective which is you know you come from a marketing background is that right Yes, I have my MBA. I went to school for photography. I got my Bachelor of Science in Photography. And my senior year, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't really know if I wanted, I knew I wanted to do photography. I just didn't know if I wanted to earn my livelihood from photography. And so I decided to go back to school and I fell in love with marketing and advertising. And so that's where I spent my career hiring photographers and doing other things, marketing related. Awesome. Um, yeah, and and really wanted to give back and find a way to share my unique perspective, I guess you could say, on what makes photographers stand out in a very crowded marketplace. Indeed, and, and I have to ask you this, uh, and I hope you don't think I'm putting you on the spot, but I would love to know what does your course uh, what what does what is it that your course is is so different about in terms of in terms of the the marketplace? I mean, there are other courses also touting the fact that they're going to help photographers find their unique voice or whatever it is. Sure. You know? And so, what is it that's special about your course? 
I, a couple of things. I, Look, I didn't invent any of the marketing vehicles. I didn't invent email. I didn't invent advertising. I didn't invent blogging. And that's what you hear a lot of mm -hmm. when you read marketing anything, books, articles. And I, look, we all got to blog and we all got to do those things. But I, for me, it really is important to find out what your unique differentiator is. And I wasn't finding that in a lot of courses that I was looking at. I was finding a lot of recipes for activities to do and not so much what are we saying in those activities. So the other thing that I was finding, and I've taught this course in person, I've done it one-on-one -on -one with clients um, in my marketing career, and I've done it now online three times, as you said. And for me, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, I think people really need someone to talk to about this topic. And so included in the course at the end, you get a private one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, while I think that the course materials are phenomenal and extremely helpful, and there's lots of exercises that you have to go through inside those courses. It's a five-week course, so inside each of those lessons to, to get closer to what your differentiator is, I think you still need that feedback. So I wanted to pr give that promise to people, too, that when they take the course, as soon as they complete the fifth lesson, let's set up a call. Let's get on Skype or on the phone, whatever you want. And let's hammer it out and really like hone in on this is it. This is going to be really strong in your marketplace. This is really going to help you stand out. Or no, you know, we need to push you a little. Have you thought about this, 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 or this? Um, and that's with me. It's not with an assistant or somebody else that I work with. That's awesome. Um, that's it's just great. with me. So, yeah. So I, I take that back about uh, the one-on-one -on -one being extremely expensive because clearly you've included that, uh, at least a little bit of it, yeah. as part of this course, which is, again, such a huge value add um, for, the, for anybody who's considering this wonderful course. It's called Magnetic Business Masterclass. And... Uh, uh, it, it is five weeks that'll go by quickly, and it'll be it'll be something it'll be some amount of work, I'm sure, right? I mean, it's not it's not a it's not something you're gonna do for people. People actually have to do the work, and then you sort of sort of you know help them figure things out in the end, right? Yes, they have to rewrite their about page. There's various exercises in the course that will push you to do something that you've been putting off for a very long time. I am sure. Right, right, absolutely. Uh, so here are the parts of the course. The part one is knowing your strengths. Uh, part two is communicating your offering. Uh, part three is writing your about page and other content, which you just talked about. Part four is testing those ideas. are just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I, I, no marketing course I know of actually goes through the, through the process of actually testing and seeing whether a marketing idea is valid i guess yes. is the word right yeah. uh the part five is developing your own brand which i think a lot of people are shy about why is that why are people shy about developing their own brand um i guess it's a, it feels a little strange to some people i imagine but look if you're going to be you know the quirky pet photographer just pulling that out of the air i was just looking at a, per, a photographer's personal project about his dog which was awesome this morning um so it's on my brain but if you're going to be that person then everything about your business has to be quirky and fun you know you can't your outbound voice message can't be corporate and boring the automatic reply that people get when they email you has to be quirky. <laughs> so we run through all those things and tie it up all nicely with a bow. And we all know from some of our favorite brands, we all have favorite brands that we are loyal to. Absolutely. Then that is one thing that those favorite brands do really well, whether it's Harley or Apple or whatever it is, they tie it all up with a bow and make everything consistent. So that's how we leave the course is doing that for the people who participate this uh, f from what you've just said seems to be really the first step that one must take if you're a photographer looking to establish yourself as a business would you agree with that um 
I, I think people have managed to limp along probably for a while um, without this. Uh, of course, I would love every new photographer and some brand new photographers have taken this class to take this class because, yeah, of course, I'm a marketer. I think it's the most important thing in the entire world. But I also know that people need to be sure that this is their passion, be sure that this is the right business for them. You know, all those things that we do when we're just starting out, even play around with different types of photography and figure out what you really enjoy shooting is important. So if you know that right away, then by all means, this course is right for you. If you're exploring those things, those important things now, you might want to wait a little bit, quite honestly, to take something like this while you have the materials for life and you can always apply it to any business, not just a photography business. That's right. Um, I know how people are. They're not going to dig out and dust something off and, and say, let me go through these exercises again. <laughs> So I think once you really, you figure your business out as far as what you want to do and you're ready to figure out how to tell the world about it, that's a great point in life where this course is highly applicable. One of the things you mentioned, this is my last question to you, is that membership to this course is limited. It, it kicks off on Sunday or Monday, I believe, uh, but you, you state very clearly that you're limiting the number of people you're actually going to be working with. Yes, it, it closes on Sunday, actually. Okay. I'm limiting the number of people only because they get a private one-on-one. -on -one. Right. And I have retrainer clients that I am dedicated to. I've slotted out times for this class, of course, but that time is limited. Um, so, yeah, I the first time this class ran, unfortunately or fortunately, I had to close the enrollment early because I reached that threshold. Um, of participants. It's highly limited. There are not a lot of spaces in this class. And it's really so that the people who take it get that private one on one work with me. They can email me and say, I'm stuck on this particular thing I'm writing. Can you take a quick look and get me unstuck? Absolutely. Wow. Uh, this is called Magnetic Business Masterclass. It's five weeks long. You are going to be working with Angela Poynton of handselectyourclients.com. By the way, one, I know what I said last question. One last question. Hand select your clients. It always makes me chuckle when I see that domain come up. It's such an awesome domain name. Thank how you. Did, how did you come up with that? I came up with that because like all of you watching, you've worked with some big jerks. <laughs> and I have worked with some big jerks in my career. I've had people call me names. I've I've lost sleep over clients, <laughs> and yeah. Um, no matter where you are in your career, if you've ever dealt with that or are dealing with that right now, you Who know hasn't? how yeah, yeah you know how not fun. I mean, it doesn't just affect your work; it affects your whole life. Right. I think right. so. For me, and the promise that my brand delivers is helping people build waiting lists of clients. Um, that is the ultimate promise after you put through all the work on that masterclass is that you'll be branded so well that the right people are going to find you and you're going to get overbooked um, if you let them. So you start building a waiting list, which will just attract more people and it's awesome. Um, and that's really what I wanted to help people deliver is that ability to say, nah, I don't think they're right for me because you know tomorrow you will get a lead that is. So you can't afford to do that. I'm going to leave it at that because that's phenomenal advice right there. Angela, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care. Thank you.